um, for the newbies and when you're first getting ready to transfer files over to your Remarkable. This is the Remarkable app. So if you have a look over here, it's that black app with the RM over here on the right. You can see my mouse. It's a very big mouse, I know. <laughs> so I've opened, what we do is we open the Remarkable app and we have it sitting there and then we open up our folder with our um, documents in it that we want to transfer. And this this is the process. It You just drag and drop. That's all you do. But you, then you do need to wait. So make yourself a cup of tea. Although I've just updated to uh, version 3.2 and it's a lot faster than it was before, which is awesome. So we pick up this uh, logbook and we drag it over. Now, there's a few things you'll observe here <clears throat> down the bottom. You see this sinking zero of 216. So th that's how many files you've got on your Remarkable. And <laughs> it's now sinking one of 216. If you haven't opened your app for a while, it's going to take a minute for it to all synchronize. But I've I use mine quite regularly. So the only one that it needed to synchronize was this one. So that's that. Now what I want to do is I just want to show you that they're the same document and everything's good. This is the logbook um, here. Uh, this is the index, which obviously you can see the hyperlinks are working. And I want to show you something about the desktop app. So if I click B, I go to the B index. Over here on the left, if I click H, I go to the H index. If I click Home, I go back to the Home index. So that's basically the document that I just dragged. And you can see from here that if I double click on it, there it is. And then if I come over here to Pages and I click on that, it will show me all the pages in the document. Now that's really cool. But the thing is, hyperlinks don't work on, this is a reader view. On your in the desktop app okay so I can't I can go and look at this one page but I can't click this one page it's like th that's not going to work so just understand that what you're doing is you are using it as a reader with one caveat the connect subscription if you have that which which I do not the connect subscription will give you the ability to read and write uh, when I do have the connect subscription because I'm sure I will one day um, you cannot write here in this remarkable app without the connect subscription it is an extra service um, that costs money this remarkable app is free to use with your device and it is read only view so you can go into all your um, folders you can have a look at all of your stuff you can go into let's say go into a journal you can have a look at all the pages in that journal you can go through you can um you can read the stuff that you've got going on right all the notes you've written and everything that you've done you can do all that but you can't edit in the remarkable app okay that's not an option so that's how you transfer and you can see every time you do something it synchronizes that and that's a lot quicker than it used to be. So that is the simple drag and drop, drag and drop. That's all you need to do um, to load PDFs onto your Remarkable. You can also load eBooks and you've also got your notebooks. In there so um, that's how you load a PDF onto your remarkable thumbs up some comments leave me a comment say hi um, and you know subscribe turn the notification bell on it all helps a little bit of love goes a long way so thanks for watching I will see you in the next video